In this section, we are going to learn how we can publish our application on the Google Play Store. In this lesson, we'll start by preparing the application assets that we'll need to configure the icon and splash screen of our application when the application is run on actual devices. So we'll start by creating the graphic assets for icon and splash screen for our application that we will need when our application runs on actual devices. Once we have the graphics in place, we'll use these graphics or images to generate application assets for both Android and iOS platforms. We'll use the Ionic CLI to create these application assets. So here we are inside the folder Final Project and it contains a folder called To Do App which contains our Ionic project. I also have another folder called Images which I have just created and inside this folder I have two files icon.png and splash.png. These are the image files that I have created manually to specify how I want the icon of my application and the splash screen of my application to look like. Both of these images are square images and the dimensions of the icon.png image is 1024 pixels by 1024 pixels. Similarly, the dimensions of splash.png image is 2732 pixels by 2732 pixels. These are the specifications that Ionic recommends for icon and splash images. Once you have the images ready, you need to go back to your Ionic project in Visual Studio Code. So here we are back inside Visual Studio Code and before we start using these images, we need to add a platform to our Ionic project. For now, we'll only add the Android platform, but you can repeat this command for iOS also. So I will add the Android platform using Ionic Cordova platform add Android. And this command, as we know, adds the Android platform to our Ionic project. So now you can see that the platform Android has been added successfully to our Ionic project. Along with that, you can see that a new folder called resources has been added to our project folder. It contains a few image files and with that, it also contains a folder for Android and iOS. If you look at the image files, it contains an icon.png and a splash.png file. These are the files that represent the default icon and the splash image that come with Ionic. So the first thing we'll do is replace these files with the image files that we have created. So I'll go back to the image folder. I'll copy the images. I'll go back to the project folder, go to the resources folder and replace these original images with the images that I have created for the icon and splash image. Now that the images have been replaced, I'll go back to Visual Studio Code. I'll use the Ionic CLI to regenerate all the application assets using these new images. And for that, we have a command called Ionic Cordova Resources. This command will upload these images to Ionic servers and in turn will download all the application assets for both Android and iOS. Go ahead and press enter and wait for the process to complete. This command will automatically detect if the images have changed and will not regenerate new application assets if the images have not changed. However, you can use the force flag to make sure that new application assets are created when you run this command. For now, the force flag is not required and the process is complete. Just to verify that all the application assets are created successfully, you can go inside the Android folder, go into the icon folder and look at each of these icons. You can see that we have the same icon but in different sizes. And this is how the Ionic Cordova resources command works. It creates icon and splash images for different devices with different screen sizes and different screen densities.